pathway to a war against Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh. Nagorno-Karabakh is a free country. Uh, the people of Nagorno-Karabakh won uh, their freedom after a very bloody and uh, uh, hard war. So they have the right for self-determination. Nobody can take it back from them. As soon as they understand it, then it's the better for the peace. Right. On the 9th of January 2013, Armenia Friendship Group was officially launched in the European Parliament. This was a very important initiative and it should be obvious that the Armenian delegation to the EU must have helped you. Did, did the European Armenian Federation for Justice and Democracy also contribute to the idea of creating such a group and endorsing your efforts to gather around you an important number of MEPs? Yeah, of course, uh, they were lobbying within the European Parliament and uh, they gave me a lot of information concerning those MEPs who were um, uh, friends to Armenia. They, were, uh, they, have, um, uh, they have been also inspired by the genocide and uh, the um, tragedy of the Armenian people and uh, their strong belief to the values and principles of the European Union on which European Union is uh, based. Uh, yeah, they gave me a big uh, support and uh, all together with other uh, NGOs, other friends of Armenia, uh, members of the European Parliament, we formed the group um, Friends of Armenia within the European Parliament, which consists of, um, I think it's more than 60 members of the Parliament, it's almost one-tenth. Uh, in my first statement I said that uh, uh, we are going to work, we are taking the initiative to support the joining of uh, Armenia uh, to the European Union, the accession of Armenia to the European Union. And uh, this was accepted with uh, very big enthusiasm by all the participants. And this is our main effort. First of all is to create excellent relations. We, were, we are planning to uh, organize events with which the people in the European Parliament um, uh, know more about Armenia, the culture, the heritage, um, the values of the Armenian people, uh, their moral standards, their uh, morality. And then uh, we are going to start the efforts for the accession procedure. Mm -hmm. Dr. Theoharos. In our brief presentation about you, we mentioned that you have already planned a number of activities. In two days, a delegation of the Friendship Group, handed by yourself, will visit Armenia. How many people are participating in this delegation, and are there also participants that are not members of the European Parliament? Could you tell us roughly the program of your visit? Will it include a visit to the Republic of Armenia only, or shall you be visiting Nagorno-Karabakh as well? Yeah, in two days we are leaving to our beloved Armenia. Mm -hmm. uh, a number of, mem of uh, parliamentarians will participate. I don't know the exact number because it's a very tough week for the parliament and some people, although they want to go, they cannot. But I'm sure that at least uh, five to six uh, MEPs will participate in the mission and of course uh, our advisors, uh, who are uh, high-quality um, uh, personnel working within the European Parliament, and uh, they are um, uh, organizing the opinion leaders' uh, activities. And um, an excellent lady from France, a member of the French uh, uh, Parliament, uh, Mrs. Francois Boyer, who was the one who took the initiative for the uh, law uh, concerning the genocide in, uh, in the France General Assembly. Um, uh, we will be visiting Armenia and there we will have um, uh, talks and uh, um, discussions with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the head or the, ch the speaker of the parliament, um, the prime minister and the president of the republic. Of course, uh, we are going to lay the wreath in the genocide monument on the 24th of um, April. 
and I feel proud that, that we do it for the third time in, in my life. Right. And then we will visit uh, Artsakh. Uh, I don't know whom we are going to see there. Of course, we are going to see uh, the um, Speaker of the Parliament, whom I met uh, a few weeks ago in Cyprus and uh, maybe the President of uh, the Republic and the Prime Minister. And we are going to pay a visit to the uh, Mangagan Hospital just to see old friends and remember mm -hmm. our activities in, uh, in Stepanagert. After this very important visit, what will be your next steps during this year and on the long run? On the 28th of, of May, 28th or 29th, I cannot say right now, I don't remember actually, but it is either the 28th or the 29th. We are organizing a big event in, within the European Parliament for the genocide. We, are, uh, we have invited experts to uh, give lectures and present the whole concept of uh, the genocide. And uh, we are going to have a big discussion. We have uh, visiting um, uh, professors and uh, also other experts and students who will participate in the discussion and people from Cyprus and uh, maybe from France. Uh, we are going to um, publicize the event or, and I hope that it's going to be a very big success. Uh, then you know that um, during the summer, summer period is not so easy to gather people together in the in the parliament. We will start our activities again in September and uh, next year we are going to uh, celebrate to, to participate in the in the memorial for the genocide here in Cyprus. For the next year I don't know what we are going to do but we have a lot of things in mind and of course uh, working closely with the um, uh, Armenian government and uh, the European Union in uh, Erevan, we will start the efforts for uh, um, the preliminary work in order to start the negotiations for the accession of Armenia to the European Union. Dr. Theokharos, this is my last question. With what initiatives do you believe that the friendship group can help Armenia and subsequently Nagorno-Karabakh, both politically and socially? Also, how will it contribute to the Armenian youth and culture? The Armenian youth and culture are in our priorities because it's the, the most precious um, um, factor in presenting the Armenian case. Uh, we believe, and personally I believe to the youth, and I always invest in the presence of uh, young people uh, in, in, uh, in the political events taking place in a community, in a society. We are going to present the heritage, the culture, the big music heritage, and uh, um, the paintings of Armenia, and the, uh, the poets of Armenia, um, uh, and also the literature and all the culture of the country. We have uh, good friends who are members of uh, the artistic community of the country and we will invite them into the European Parliament. And uh, of course we will um, continue visiting Armenia in order to um, assist the members of the European Parliament to know themselves how the situation is, uh, what is the reality, what is the progress, uh, how the Armenian people um, evaluate the, um, the principles of Europe, and uh, of course uh, how much I admire the people of Armenia. Dr. Theokharos, thank you for this interview. Thank you so much.